Hey guys, Cookson for the one year. Oh yeah, and welcome back to another video. Today, people, today I'll be doing another how to use slash strategy guide video on my channel. Now, today we are going to be taking a look at Mega Glalie. Mega Glalie is a great Pokemon that was brought into Horus because of its stat boost pretty much and just pretty good stats, honestly. Now, Glalie, as you can see, only has base 80 stats all around the board, but when he Mega Evolves, he gets a 2 120 attack, 120 special attack, and 100 speed. This makes him a very good mix slash attacking or special attacking sweeper. Also good for a setup Pokemon because he gets that pretty decent 80 based special attack and defense and he gets some, again, speed and attack. And pretty decent HP if you could say 80 is decent. <clears throat> but anyways, let's get straight into the sets. Of course, you're going to run Glaliite. And ability doesn't really matter because he has a refrigerate when he Mega Evolves and Moody is banned. And if you're going to use a Snow Warding, a Bomb of Snow to activate this Ice Body, why are you going to be using a Mega Glalie? It makes no sense. So we're going to go for an Infocus for the Zero Flinches. If you really want to have, like, Fake Out. Like, yeah, that is really good. If someone's going to Fake Out you at... I never thought of this, actually. If someone's going to Fake Out you at the beginning, you have Inner Focus. You're not going to flinch. You don't Mega Evolve that turn. Get an attack off, and then boom, they're, they're weakened, and you can just go Mega Evolve in the next turn. So anyways, now let's look at the moves. Now for the moves, you usually want to run Explosion. I know what you're thinking, Explosion, you're going to kill your Pokemon right off the bat. Yes, you are, but no, you're not in another way you could say that too. You're not really going to kill your Pokemon at the beginning. You could if you want to, but you have a choice not to. You're gonna run other moves to attack if you want to stay alive but for explosion I usually love to run this move if you wanna take it a big threat like for example a D-Dancing Dragonite the Dragonite's greedy and it's already set up two D-Dances and it wants more cause he knows that he can live an Ice Shard or an Ice Beam or something from Glalie he's gonna keep D-Dancing until he activates that weakness policy with his multi scale but he doesn't know that you have explosion now explosion is going to definitely Oko that thing because look at this it has 120 base attack if you max that out it goes up to let's put an adamant nature if you really want to it goes to 372 attack power with the 250 power from the explosion and then the stab ability which is 1.2 or 1.3 times the attacking power so Think about it, that thing's gonna Oko that thing, you don't have to worry about that, so you, that's why I run Explosion. Now for the second move, I usually want to have priority, so I run Ice Shard. Ice Shard is a good move because it's 40 base power, 100% accuracy, and again, it goes first. So that is good to take out like a Mega Sceptile that's sweeping your team right now and it only has a bit health left. You can use Ice Shard right there and take it out. Now for the third move, you could either run Crunch. Or you could run Earthquake. I like w running Earthquake over Crunch because you get that coverage over the fire types which are super effective and you also get the coverage on all electric types which aren't super effective but it's nice to have. So for the final move, you have a few options here. I know this isn't all out attacking but you could run Spikes if you really want to, set up some Spikes and then go Explosion. You could run Taunt but not really going to worry about that. You could. Honestly, Taunt would be good because you could get rid of those, like, will o Beam Pokemon right at the beginning, but if they're going to have a Prankster, then you're pretty much fucked no matter what. So, you could run, like, Return. Where is a... Where's Return? Let me take this up. Now, you could run Return. I know you have three Ice types, but Return also gets that 102 base power at max happiness, which you would need to have max happiness for Return. And then you get the stab ability, which is good in that high attack. So you could run this. Um, you could run freeze dry, but we're not going to worry about freeze dry right now because that's for a uh, load attacking, like mixed attacker, like a Glalie. Or you could even run light screen. Light screen is a very good ability or a very good move because it basically just goes ahead and raises his special attack or special defense for free and then you can even run a bit in defense if you really want to but this is a attacking glit at least so we're not going to worry about that so anyways let's keep light screen on this now for the ev spread since we're doing all out attacking glaily we're going to want max um attack and max speed and either you can go max hp max defense max special defense it really depends what you really want i'm going to go max hp for this 
and then you could run an admin. You can run an admin. Not the greatest thing though, because a lot of things are going to outspeed it. And considering he only has a base 100 speed, he's going to need that speed boost. So you're going to run a Jolly Nature right here. Now this is usually the set for an all-out attacking Glalie, and for a mixed Glalie, again, you could run Explosion, but you could take it off for this one. We're going to run um, Return, for example, or I don't think, no, we're going to run Freeze Dry. We're going to run Freeze Dry. Then we're going to run Ice Shard for that a priority. And by the way, back to Freeze Dry, guys, this is super effective against Water Types, and 10% chance to freeze, and it's 100% accuracy with the 70 base power. This is really good because you get the coverage on water types, you get the chance to freeze, you get that pretty high stab and um, attack boost, so it's a very good to run. Now, yes, priority, and then you can run Earthquake, but for the sake, we're gonna get rid of that right now, and we're gonna run Crunch to take care of those um, psychic type Pokemon that can be pretty much threats against him. He's gonna live at least once, considering you set up a light screen, but we're not gonna put on light screen this time. We are gonna put on Body Slam. Now, we're gonna be using his ability here, Refrigerate, and Body Slam is a very good move and has a 100% accuracy. It has a 85% or 85 base power, and it has a 30% chance to Parax. So right now, you have a 10% chance to freeze, and then you have the 30% chance to Paralyze. This is really good because you can get those status effects on them pretty damn easily. You pretty much have a 40% chance to get a status on them, which is good. Now, on to the EV spreads. You're going to want a... Oh, no, we have to drag it from here. We want a 120 attack and a... Or 128 attack and 128 special attack and then max speed. The reason why we're doing this is because we're going to max out both of his attack and special attacks. Now, for the ability, we're going to want either hasty or we're going to want naive. Naive, you could run it, but since you have like those flamethrowers coming at you and other special attacks like uh, Scald, you're not going to want naive on this thing. You're going to want hasty because you're not really going to see that much fire punching or that much water falling if you're really worried about water types again. But yeah, you're not going to see that much fire punching. So you're going to want to run a hasty nature. Now this is pretty much a set for an all-out attacking Glalie for like a mix set. Um, again, freeze dry, very good. Crunch, ice shard, body slam. Now for a setup Glalie, you're going to want spikes on this thing. Spikes is a good move because if you set up two, or three actually, sorry about that guys. Um, it's pretty much like a free stealth rocks right there. It's very good. Now for the second move, you're going to want either Light Screen, or you can run Taunt. Taunt is a very good move because you can get rid of those will o whispers you can get rid of those, um, I don't know, Light Screeners if you really need to, or uh, like Sticky Webbers, anything really, if you're like against another set of Pokemon at the beginning of the match. For the third move, you're going to want Explosion. Considering this is a setup Glalie and it's kind of just a, let's get out of there after we set up. You're going to want to take out that one Pokemon with that explosion. Now for the final move, you could run Ice Shard. Ice Shard is very good, but I'm not going to run that because we, we're, we're just saying that. We don't need those quick KOs at the beginning of the battle. So we're going to run Light Screen. Now Light Screen, again, basic, or raises everyone's special defense. You get that taunt, you get rid of those. Um, Sticky Webbers, they have to, they're forced to switch out pretty much, and you can actually predict that and go to another Pokemon set later. And then you get those spikes, if you get three max layers up, it's really very good. But I recommend getting that light screen up before you set up the spikes. And even, you can go light screen, taunt, and then spikes, which is good. And then explosion. Now for the EV spread. You don't want these attacking, right here, these attacking moves right here. You're going to want max speed, of course, because you want to you want to set up those things really quick. You're going to want at least 120, actually let's put it down to this considering we have light screen up. We're going to want a 100 into special, is that special attack or is that, I mean special defense, what am I doing? <laughs> I can't see guys. 100 into special defense, you're going to want some more like 156 into defense. Now, we're not going to have any attack, I know we have explosion there, but this is a setting up one. We do not want 
that attack because we need all the defense we need to set up all these things at once. Now for the nature, you would either want to bald or bold or if you really want to live those flamethrowers all day all night, run a calm nature. But I recommend running bold because, oh no, uh, bold nature, sorry about that guys. And impish nature, we want to lower that special attack there. Where is impish? So you want impish or careful pretty much then. So impish we're going to run because we set up late screen so we don't really need that much. We need more in defense to live. In case someone joined Fire Punch, you never know. You never know. Or even like a rock type Pokemon. You're going to need those. So anyways, this is a setup clearly. Now this is pretty much the end of the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, how to use slash strategy guide video. I'll be doing more in the future. Leave a thumbs up if you did like it. Tell me what you would like me to change in the series. Maybe uh, talk more fluently because I'm not very good at just doing commentary like this. Like, you guys have to put this move on. You guys have to put these EVs on. You have to put these, yeah. Just stuff like that. I'm not very good at it. So, anyways, remember if you like this video, shoot that like button with a comment. Man.